I'll just come right out and say it. Hidden Wi-Fi networks often lead to a lot of confusion. And this confusion, honestly, is pretty well warranted. If a Wi-Fi network is hidden and you aren't able to see it, how are you supposed to be able to connect to it in the first place? This may sound like a vexing question, but honestly, it's pretty straightforward once you find out what to do. And in this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm going to be providing an example of how to connect to a hidden Wi-Fi network using your iPhone. And it's important to note here that although this example will be using my iPhone, the steps for Windows 10, Windows 11, Android, and Mac devices, they all follow a pretty similar pattern. So these steps should be applicable regardless of the device you have. Just as a brief recap here to make sure we're all on the same page when it comes to hidden Wi-Fi networks, what we're referring to here is we're referring to Wi-Fi networks that are designated in a router settings as a hidden network. And therefore it doesn't show up in the list of available wireless networks that your device can connect to. So what I'll be showing you today is how you can connect to these networks that are designated as hidden in the router's Wi-Fi settings. Before we begin, let me just say that I have my own opinions when it comes to hidden Wi-Fi networks and whether you should implement hidden Wi-Fi networks in your home. I will link to that video up above in case you're curious about hearing why you may not want to utilize hidden Wi-Fi networks as a means of securing your home network. With that said, regardless of if you implement hidden Wi-Fi networks in your home network or not, chances are you'll come across one. You'll either come to a friend's house or you'll go to a different location that has hidden Wi-Fi networks. So the bottom line is whether you implement them in your home network or not, you should still know how to be able to connect to a hidden Wi-Fi network. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna do here is I wanna show you the Wi-Fi network that I've marked as hidden in my router settings, just so you understand the Wi-Fi network that we're trying to connect to. This information is very important once we get to the steps where I'm actually connecting to the hidden Wi-Fi network on my iPhone. So make note of the hidden Wi-Fi network name so you can follow along. Okay, so here are the settings for my wireless router. What I've done is I have made one of my guest Wi-Fi networks a hidden network. So if we go into guest network here, we'll be able to see the settings for the network that I marked as hidden. As you can see here, network from home, guest 2G, enable guest Wi-Fi network. This is an enabled wireless network. And here, hide SSID. This is basically just saying, hide this wireless network. So the bottom line is this is the wireless network we're going to be connecting to with my iPhone. And the password is password here, just for an example. Okay, so with that, let's jump over to my iPhone and I'll show you how to connect to this hidden Wi-Fi network. Okay, so here we are. Now we're on my iPhone and I'm going to show you how to connect to this hidden Wi-Fi network. The first thing we wanna do here is we wanna access our wireless settings for my iPhone. We do that by selecting the settings icon here. So the next thing we wanna do here, we want to select Wi-Fi so we can see the other wireless settings for my iPhone. All right, when this page pops open, what's one thing you notice here? One thing you should notice is that the guest Wi-Fi network that I enabled on my wireless router the network from home guest 2G network, it doesn't pop up here. And that's for good reason. That's because this wireless network is marked as hidden in my router settings. All right, so what do we have to do? The next thing we wanna do here is down at the bottom, see under other networks, it says other dot, dot, dot. Let's go ahead and select that, which brings us to this page. This is why it was very important that we took note of the network name and password of the hidden Wi-Fi network on my router. So what we're going to do here, we're going to type in the network name and password. So we have 
NWFH guest with a capital G two G and the password is password with no capitals. We will then select join It might take a moment here, but as you will see, my iPhone then connects to this hidden Wi-Fi network. And you see right there at the top, it confirms it. It says hidden network. One thing that's very important to note here is the fact that when you're typing in the network name, everything matters. Capitalization matters, punctuation matters. So here, as an example, let's jump in. Let me forget this network forget this network and let's try this again with me entering the name of the network without any capitalization or punctuation NWFH guest 2G with the password being password join and let's see what happens here this confirms what I was telling you. Could not find the network. And that's because the wireless network name in my router settings was not an exact match with what I entered into the name of the Wi-Fi network here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're gonna enter the network name correctly again. NWFH guest 2G. The password is still password, so if we hit join, we shouldn't have any problems connecting to this hidden Wi-Fi network. With that, that's all you need to do. The steps are pretty straightforward, but it's the details that matter when you're connecting to a hidden Wi-Fi network. You need to make sure you have that wireless network name exactly as it's indicated in the router settings. And of course, you need to get the password right. That goes without saying as well. There you have it. Once you know where to go in your iPhone settings, it's actually pretty straightforward in terms of connecting to a hidden Wi-Fi network. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. That will make sure it gets shared with other people who will be able to benefit from this information as well. If you like these topics and you like the way that I present this information, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you on board here as we deliver more content moving forward. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.